Good morning everyone, it is a chilly morning here. We are here in Amarillo, Texas, and I'm sharing with you another great free spot to stay. And once again, we're here at a Cracker Barrel. This place is pretty nice, it's really level. Easy in and easy out, one of the best we've seen. It just has a straight through shot to the back when you pull in and a straight through shot when you pull out. Now this is a great spot to stay if you're cruising through, maybe you're going to the Big Texan or stopping by the Cadillac Ranch or something like that. So if you're pulling in, pull in that first driveway right there and then you can come all the way back around and it'll loop around to the back to where all the RV parking is. They do have these one-way frontage roads, so if you are coming down the road on this side, it is only one way. So if you have to go somewhere back that way, you do have to go down, get on the freeway, loop back around, go back down, get on another off-ramp to come back around. So in some ways, it seems to make sense and work really well, and then in some ways, it's like, oh shoot, if I miss my exit, this sucks. Now I will say that there is a Walmart down the road just a little bit, and we pulled over yesterday and parked there for just a little bit. Um, just for a couple hours just to have some downtime relax and stuff like that But and you can stay there, but I gotta tell you this the Cracker Barrel is far better that Walmart It's a big parking lot, but it's not set up for rigs and stuff like that They actually have little mediums and stuff in it I don't think they want you bringing things in there. So the semi trucks are all lined up on the side It was just a trashy dirty parking lot a lot of people just speeding, run around, burn out and stuff. So I was like, mm, we're not staying here tonight. But we have not had a bad experience yet staying at a Cracker Barrel. So if you're passing through on the I-40, heading southwest, whatever you're doing, here in Amarillo, Texas, great spot. Like I say, nice and level. They do have these designated RV spots over here, as most Cracker Barrels do. Now for a rig our size, it just doesn't fit in one of those spots. And there's a lot of times you'll see several RVs in the nighttime after they close, you know, park on the side like we did. We were able to take up this little spot right here, which when we got here last night, there was nobody back here. No RVs, no customer parking. All the customer parking was up front, so I felt very comfortable. And because I don't like taking up spots when the business is open. And we got here, I want to say around eight or so, and they close at nine. So I like to get here when they're closing, when the customers are gone. And like this morning, I am running my uh, generator for just a tiny bit, just to recharge the battery and stuff. And, but I typically don't even do that. I just, I have an inverter, I have 300 amp hours of batteries, and we just, I haven't really fired up the generator for the last, I don't know, day or two. So it's time to charge that back up again. And if you do have pets, they do have grass over here by the hotel over there. And then they have this little island here where we're staying. Then they got this big field over here. But just know if your dog goes poo, pick it up, don't leave it. Even if it's like over here where I'm going. I just, cause then the next people that have dogs and bring theirs over, you gotta watch and you might step in it. And it's just, that's one of my things. Wherever we go, got these bags, pick up your dog poo. Don't leave it for someone else to step in or have to clean up after you. And my thought is if you're not responsible enough to pick up after your pet, you shouldn't have a pet. Just pick up the poo. This is a great little spot. All right guys, well that's gonna do it. If you're passing through on the I-40 in Amarillo, Texas, Cracker Barrel, great spot to stay. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.